What's up, party people? Event number four, Ozark BFL. No holds prisoners this time, dude. I'm leaving it out on the water. I'm in 150th place. I've only fished two events. This is event number four. Let's go. Truman Lake in Missouri. Bye. You know, up until this point, I'm in pretty good spirits. You know, I find out who my boater is, and until I talk to another po uh, boater, another uh, angler in the town over, um, I don't even know who who he is uh, by name. You know, I, I don't follow every angler out there. You know, I'm not one to watch MLF live. You know, I, I do sometimes, but that doesn't mean that I know all the ang anglers. So uh, the guy proceeds to tell me who he is, and uh, well, then my worry kind of starts setting in a little bit. Um, here, let's take a look and see who my pairing is presented by MLF Origin Productions. My name is Brent Chapman. I am a Major League Fishing World Championship competitor. You know, for me, it started at an early age. I, I remember, you know, a vivid memory being with my, my dad down in Carthage, Missouri with great grandmothers. And, and my dad took me down to the Spring River. And I remember catching probably a three or four pound bass off the, the Spring River Bridge. And we took it up and, and put it in the, uh, the, the cattle tank. I mean, I was so proud of that. It's, you know, it, it's, it's just slowly evolved. You know, these, these little bit bigger and higher achievements to 2012 winning uh, Angler of the Year and being at the Cup events, and then from there going to the Selects and having good events at the Selects, and then ultimately making it to the Cups, and finally the Bass Pro Tour. So yeah, uh, here's uh, my initial thoughts after finding out who it was and, and having the conversation with him on the phone about the plan in the morning and for you know the next day. I'm a little concerned. He was really nice, but if I'm following this guy on the boat, I don't know how I'm going to do. <sighs> I, uh, I'm thinking, you know, he, well, I asked him what we were going to do. He said, well, he was going to fish the bank. He was going to run a square bill and he would be pitching into the weeds and around the weeds and stuff close to the bank. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe as a strategy, I might just turn around on the other side of the boat and throw the DT 16, DT 20, drag a tube for some smallies. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see because I, I just don't have a lot of confidence following a pro angler. Angler of the year, nonetheless. He has that award. Leaving the old sun down here on 65. Plenty of time. And, uh, yeah, well, I'm a little nervous about today following Brent. <clears throat> and I think I'm just going to stick to my game plan, man. You know, I always wonder how you're going to catch fish behind angler of the year. Former Angler of the Year, but uh, we and we are the under shepherds. Holy cow! We get to follow Jesus' pattern. We'll be okay. He said to you. Uh, let's see what time is it. Four oh three. Fishers of men. Twenty minute drive. is that I think we followed his teaching and we followed some. Your name, I'm like. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I know you're right here. Yeah. Howdy. Trade one for the other. Yeah, I'm your guy. All right. Get out of your way. Well, here, come on over here and we'll get out of everybody else's way. All righty. Amen. Oh, say can you see by 
in here with the one and only Mr. Chapman, Brent Chapman, here at Truman, fourth event in the Ozark BFL. We're gonna get on some fish. He's been great, he's gonna take care of me. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be a nice hot day, but uh, we expect the fishing to be good too, so we're out and ready to go have some fun. No holds bar, man. Thank let's, you so let's much. Let's do it, yeah, absolutely. Bye-bye. 74. All right, Brent, take me to the place, man. All right. Nope, missed. So the first spot that we come up to um, is just an open flooded area. Brent practiced here on Wednesday. He got in on Wednesday and, and did some practicing and he said, you know, he was catching fish left and right. You know, um, I was pitching with them and um, trying some different colors, some different styles, a little smaller, you know, just trying to be different than the, uh, the boater. So um, in my opinion though, I think we stayed a little too long here with striking out. We only really kind of caught one non-keeper and I think one keeper for about, I don't know, fishing for about two and a half hours or two hours in this spot. I, I would have personally liked to, you know, um, fish a little bit of the open water. And in fact, I did. I saw some of the fish busting in the water and um, tried some stuff, but, but didn't get anything. After that, we moved over a little closer to Truman Dam, which butts up to the Lake of the Ozarks. Brent had caught a fish at about, uh, had, well, he had one fish. Brent had one fish, you know, by 9.30. It was a good idea to fish in uh, the current as they were running a bunch of water uh, out of Truman Dam. You know, here I switched to the DT-16 and Brent was throwing a square bill. Uh, the color I was throwing was cit citrus shad and it, it proved to pay off here. Sean, that's a big fish. Well, I don't know if it's a big fish, but I hope it's a little yeah. warm. That DT-16. Wow, <laughs> Watch it out. Good job. Here, grab these things. Left or right? Right here, right here, right here. Oh, God. There you yeah. go. <clears throat> That's a few pounds. That'll work. Is that the five or the square bill? Square bill. Yeah, I guess. You're all right. I'm not going to do anything to you. You're okay. After, you know, we caught a few good fish up on the bluffs uh, closer to the dam, got some water flow going, some current, because they were running quite a bit of water. Um, you know, after that, we, we pulled up into the shallows for, it seems like, the, the majority of the rest of the day. And this uh, was really hard for me because we got into, you know, some flooded vegetation. Um, it was a great idea because most boats weren't getting up in there. When I'm talking about vegetation, this guy was in, you know, two foot less water and he was in the willows, or not on the willows, he was, he was in the willows, which is a great idea, but again, it, it made it really hard. And so everything I was thinking the prior day, you know, after talking to him, um, following a pro angler in this environment is, is extremely difficult. You have to keep up. If, if you can't pitch well or at all, you need to get it because he was super fast. He could execute, he could move along, he could be very accurate. Not only that, at times the trees were all over the back of the boat. Um, so everything was really close. 
Um, but in hindsight, it was extremely hot that day, so um, it was good to be in the shade. <clears throat> Feeling this. Biffle mm. bug might be too big. I'm gonna push us off here. Mm. Mm. Green pumpkin. But here is a chance where I got a chance to turn around and cast into open water because he was just pounding every spot so quickly and moving quickly. You know, we weren't in the willows, we were along them and he was, you know, casting and, and catching or casting and moving. And so I got a chance to turn around and so I dragged a tube, I drug a tube um, in hopes of being able to get something, you know, some cranks out there a little deeper. And I just, you know, it was something different other than the boat or two. So that uh, went poorly because I didn't get anything. <laughs> Kansas City, Kansas, sitting right in our place. It's kind of brand. Go ahead. Brainer Josh. 11 pounds and 7 first. ounces, 11 7, 1 0 all the way to second place. You're Josh, right? Yeah, that's me. Walker, come on, one bass. Get some other co-op. Hold the bag open. One in the one. There you one go. One pound of 11 ounces, one in the bag, and you gotta have them. Joshua Ramsey. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Fishing over to one of the one bass. Good fish. Four pounds and five ounces, four, five. Good job. Thanks, man. Coming into this, I was 158th. Um, I moved up 50 spots to 108. So we have the super tournament left at Lake of the Ozarks. It's a two day tournament, I believe it's in September. And uh, I'm still hopeful if I could do very well there that I can make the cut for finals in uh, the top 45 overall. So we'll see how that goes and um, what happens. Lastly, I wanna thank Brent. Brent, uh, it was cool to meet him. He was a professional. Um, about uh, being just a good human and an angler. Uh, there was no pretentiousness. There was nothing that you can get with some anglers, you know, some anglers and that pretentious behavior is kind of moving into fishing and I hate it. Brent was not that at all. Um, he was a joy. We actually talked about, you know, our families. We talked about, you know, my service history in the Marines. We talked about what it's like to be a pro, uh, taxes, all kinds of good stuff we you know we talked about but there was good you know pauses of silence too you know when i go out and fish i'm not a big talker i don't talk a whole lot unless you like you provoke me or push me to do so and it's nothing against anybody else i just am focused on fishing um he is definitely a, a pro quality angler and thanks brent i really appreciate fishing with you and appreciate you hosting Hopefully, Brent Chapman, we can get you in on a interview soon, on an interview soon. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, my hat's off to you, buddy. We're gonna do a big bass this Saturday, last minute, uh, down at Lake of the Ozarks. I'm gonna take uh, my uncle Rusty. He loves fishing. He's always with me for you know some pretty good adventures. So stay tuned. That'll be coming very soon as it's happening this Saturday, June 25th. Thanks for watching. Bye.